Dragon Ball Super Broly is the latest Dragon Ball film after Battle of Gods and Resurrection F. And as most of you know, I'm a massive fucking fan of this franchise, uh, TV show, all of it. Love it. Good shit. Check it out sometime if you haven't. Broly was always a fan favorite in the movies, but he was never in the show. There were three Broly films. There was Legendary Super Saiyan, Second Coming, and Bio Broly, which most of us like to forget exists. But Akira Toriyama, the creator of the franchise, has decided to make him a canon character again, and in this film we learn about his past, a little bit about Goku and Vegeta's past, leading to an epic fight between Broly, Vegeta, and Goku. For the majority of 2018, the movies I was really looking forward to seeing let me down. I mean, sure, there were some great surprises like Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, but I wasn't really anticipating that film, and it was nice that it was so good, but most of the films I was looking forward to were disappointing, and even into 2019 now, the same thing is happening. So did the same thing happen yet again with Dragon Ball Super Broly? No! Finally! A movie I was excited for was actually good. Obviously, I've seen all the Dragon Ball movies, and while some of them are good and some of them are bad, one thing about a lot of them is that they feel kind of inconsequential and unimportant. They feel like these kind of offshoots. Some of them are less than 50 minutes long, and they just feel sort of unnecessary. But in the case of this film, it's 100 minutes. There's a fleshed out story. You learn about Broly's past. He's a real character with a real background. He doesn't feel like some villain that's just there to scream and punch things. And even Goku and Vegeta get a lot more to talk about and things to be excited about. You learn more about the, the past of the planet Vegeta. You see some stuff with Bardock. Uh, I won't get into any spoilers, but I've always wanted the movies to explore more of that. The past two films I have enjoyed, but they did feel sort of like fun offshoots that didn't have that much impact on the actual narrative. This movie actually tells a story that feels fleshed out. I actually kind of gave a shit about Broly, strangely. He's not just some big hulking machine like he has been in the past. They show his upbringing. You actually care about him a little bit. And they do a good job of making the ensuing battle be not just one-sided. You don't just want to see Goku make a spirit bomb and throw it into Broly and that's the end of the movie. You actually are curious to see what happens for these characters because they give enough time to flesh each character out. Even though I've seen most of these people a billion times, and they've, they've found a pretty good line to run with Goku and Vegeta. There's humor that's balanced really well. Vegeta's afraid to show emotion and do anything that might be considered embarrassing, and Goku is just really excited to fight. And yeah, we've seen that before, and would you really want it any other way, though, as a Dragon Ball fan? Of course not. What, do you want Goku to mope around the whole movie? That'd be stupid. So they actually did a pretty good job with the characters in this one. It wasn't just a fan service -y Dragon Ball movie. Yeah, there's tons of stuff that you're going to love if you've been a fan for a long time and things that are going to excite you, but they did actually put forth effort into a compelling narrative, which surprised me uh, in a very good way. This is a first-time director for the Dragon Ball franchise. Uh, he's never directed anything in the Dragon Ball franchise before, according to IMDb, and you can tell that he was really trying to make his mark. As far as fight scenes go, these are some of the most impressive I've seen in all of Dragon Ball. They're long, they're fast. They're so fast, actually, I, I kind of lost track a few times. Seeing these battles on a big screen, it really does feel like these two crazy otherworldly aliens are just fucking killing each other. It's awesome. The animation is spectacular. It's the best I've ever seen in a Dragon Ball anything. It's far better than the animation in Dragon Ball Super. It's top tier animation quality in regards to Dragon Ball. There's a few times where they use CG for the human characters, not just for like ships and stuff. And it's a little noticeable, but because of that, they were able to achieve greater fluid movement with the fights. And I was impressed by that. This is one of the first Dragon Ball films where I genuinely want to see what happens next. It actually sets up something compelling. It doesn't feel like a one-off. It feels like they really are trying to create a narrative here with characters that Dragon Ball fans can like. Now, I've said this in most of my Dragon Ball movie reviews. If you aren't a fan of this franchise, you're not going to know what the hell's going on, and it's not going to have much of an impact on you. If you've never seen anything Dragon Ball related before, I would highly recommend not watching this because it's just going to be lost on you. But for Dragon Ball fans, this is going to give them everything they wanted. It has the fan service moments, but it has stuff I didn't expect. I actually found myself caring about Broly, and that's impressive. He had a plight that I related to and that I understood. 
And the fights, oh my fucking god. Best I've ever seen in Dragon Ball, seriously. I mean, it's not as narratively compelling as the Frieza versus Goku stuff, because that's built up over the course of 10,000 episodes. <laughs> but this is, in regards to movies, easily, easily, top tier best Dragon Ball movie ever made. I'm gonna give Dragon Ball Super Broly an A. But like I said, if you're not already initiated with the Dragon Ball franchise, you're probably not going to appreciate most of this. But if you are, it's going to give you everything you want. I'm just happy I saw a movie that I was looking forward to seeing, that I was excited about, that was good. I'm just so happy about that. It feels like it's been a long time. I can take a breath of fresh air and feel good about liking movies again for a while. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to more reviews very soon. And as always, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.